Hey, 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 Variety viewers! What's going on? It's your host of Jay's Variety Show here, and I got a special guest with me here. I got my daughter, Haley. Hello, there. What she said, I guess. So, it's Saturday, and, uh, Haley, what do we do when, uh, on Jay's Variety Show when uh, Saturday rolls around? Super shout out Saturday! That's right. That's right, every Saturday. So, uh, you know, we're going to do something a little bit different uh, for this episode because I only have one super shout out Saturday this episode, but that's okay. There will be more. Um, so we'll go ahead and jump right into that. But this video is going to be a little bit special because because I do only have the one super shout out. We kind of, me and Haley have a little craft idea that we're going to do together and we want to do it on YouTube. Um, so after I get through the super shout out here me and Haley are gonna tell you guys what we're gonna do with our craft and uh, it's pretty interesting it involves pop tabs. all these pop tabs, tabs. <laughs> a whole bunch of pop tabs so we're gonna do a uh, craft with these pop tabs but anyways let's go ahead and get this super shout out done so the one and only Super shout out to Christopher Nelson. Uh, he does vlogs. Uh, that's basically what his channel is all about. Uh, he's also like his YouTube channel is called Christopher Nelson. That's like what it says for the YouTube channel name. But in his banner it says uh, Archway Properties TV. So that's kind of their title for their channel as well. Um, some of the vlogs he did, there's uh, three parts to his About Me vlog where he just kind of, you know, tells everybody, all his viewers, about him, uh, about his life, and about his channel, and uh, all kinds of stuff. And he's outside. Yeah, he was outside by a tree stump in one of his videos. I think he was doing uh, the YouTube tag thing. Um, just, you know, kind of answering some questions about himself, just letting you guys know. Yeah. Uh, some fresh Tim Hortons with me here. Uh, but, uh, and also on his channel, I watched one of his videos. He did a collaboration with another uh, super shout out recipient, the Bearded Traveler. It was a good video. They, uh, they talked about traveling, and Christopher Nelson kind of answered some travel questions that the Bearded Traveler had for him and whatnot. It was a good video. Uh, Christopher Nelson and Archway Properties TV. Great content. Awesome channel. Uh, his link will be in my description below, so be sure to go check out his content. It is great. You will not be disappointed. I don't steer you wrong. But, uh, so yeah, super shout out to Christopher Nelson. And, uh, if you guys could just give us one quick second here, we're going to get set up for our craft, and we will be right back. And we're back. Um, so as I showed you before, we had all these pop tabs. So uh, Haley said she wanted to save some pop tabs, so we Googled and YouTubed some crafts we could do with pop tabs. And uh, so what we've decided to do is we're going to make a purse out of pop tabs. So, we're going to show you how we're going to do this, and uh, we'll let you watch us do it for a little bit, and then uh, we'll go from there. So, we'll get started. So, I'm going to explain, me and Haley together, we're going to explain how this works, right? So, what you're going to need, obviously... Pop tabs. A lot of pop tabs, A lot. Right? You will need a lot, and I want to explain to them, if you have, you have to have, like these two sided where they have two holes because if you have just like one hole that is filled in and the other one it isn't then it won't work because you have to have it like together like yeah you this. have to be able to link them together you can't have any filled in holes or it won't work and we will show you how so like uh monster energy drink don't use those tabs because most of them they have uh, a filled in hole so I recommend, that was close, wasn't it? Yeah, I recommend that you don't use those. So Haley, um, what else are they going to need? You're going to add these pliers? Yep. Um, you're going to need these pliers. 
any pair of pliers will work. These are just the ones we found. Yeah, we were looking around our home. And we found them. So, Haley, do you want to actually grab a couple pop tabs out of there? See, so this is what this is what it looks like when they're linked together, right? And uh, we watched some videos where people were making, you know, like chain mail, purses, and belts, belts um, bracelets, all kinds of jewelry and stuff out of pop tabs. So we're just going to make like a basic purse. We're going to see how well it goes. And... Uh, we're going to let you guys watch some of the process, but before we actually dive into getting to making it, I'll show you how to accomplish this right here. So you're going to need two pop tabs, obviously. Make sure you have a parent to say. Well, yeah, if you're going to be using pliers and stuff like that, anything that could hurt you, it is good to have a parent with you if you're a kid, right? Or ask at least. So... You're going to take your pliers, you're going to take a pop tab, alright? Slide it in like this. Give it a snap. So now that's cut, right? Then you take your pliers. Open it up. Just like that. I guess that didn't open up very much. <laughs> no. There we go. Open it up just like that. And don't worry. If you do happen to bend this a little bit, it's okay because you're going to crimp the pieces back together with the pliers anyway. Then you grab your second pop tab and you do the same thing. I like to try and get it more closer to the center of the top of the pop tab. Give it a snip. I would recommend to do it, like keep doing that process, what my dad's doing right now, um, and then put it like in then keep putting it in piles yeah just do a whole bunch like get a whole bunch prepared right yeah and then you can close them up when you need to exactly right and then you can get this off of see and then obviously well i guess i didn't have to spread one of these open but i did anyway just for the purpose of showing you but i can crimp this one back together right squeeze it back together super easy super super easy and make sure so they don't fall apart on you Give it a good squeeze so it's actually kind of stuck back together. And you take your other pop tab, put it in like that, and then crimp your other one back together. Same as the last one, right? Squeeze it really good. There you go, you have it. And now you got that, right? And, oh, I know. You need to. Yeah, that's all right. <coughs> we kind of sketched our purse. It's terrible though, and I'm not showing you. No. <laughs> See, you can even, to attach them, right, you can even cut this end and spread it and then attach it and then squeeze it back together, which we are going to end up having to do, right? Because when you put two of them together, right, you get that and that, so you do got to cut so you can attach them, but that can be done too. Maybe. Maybe not. How were they doing that? Do you remember? I should have thought about this. They pushed it. They pushed it with something. There. Wait a minute. I'm going to try a little experiment here because we didn't really think this through. Hope you guys can see this okay. And if it gets, like, if we have to throw out this one, like, I'm sure we don't have to. But if we have to, that doesn't really matter. Because I bet you we have over a thousand here. There's definitely a lot. So I'm just experimenting here. But I think I may have succeeded. I need to drink a 
get my milk. Oh, that one's all. Come on. For some reason it doesn't want to stay. There we go. There we go. So I guess there's the start of our pop tab purse. Just like that. So you'll notice when you put two of them together like that, which I did that wrong. I totally did that wrong. I need to start doing it the other way. But uh, I'll figure that out, no problem. Um, so yeah, we're going to, so now that you've, uh, you've seen how we're going to do it, I think we're going to go ahead and... Uh, do some of this purse and we'll be back with you shortly hey guys and we're back so we've got some pop tabs attached right now to you guys it's just gonna look like a circle right now I've got it set out as like a rectangle as the purse is gonna be right it's gonna be a rectangle when it's all done but we've attached what's this is gonna be it's supposed to be like I said a rectangle right oh and then Haley goes and breaks it. Just leave it. Just leave it. And then uh, I'm going to fix this. And obviously this will be a rectangle. Oops. Way to go, Haley. Oops. Way to go. Way to go, Haley. Way to go. Way to go, Haley. Way to go. It's an easy fix. No worries. See? Fixed. Just like that. Done, fix. Oh, we're done in the whole purse. I'm just kidding. Yeah, right. Not even close. <laughs> this is going to be a big project. And actually, what I wanted to ask you guys is just, obviously, just picture this as a rectangle. And we were wondering, like, to fill the inside of here, is if we should use all pop tabs or maybe use like some kind of material or a piece of plastic so you could have like a clear purse with like the pop tab border or something like that so you guys can uh, go ahead and suggest down below in uh, the comments and uh, give us some ideas of what we should do should we use all entire like make the entire purse out of pop tabs which would be a lot of work but we would do it or should we just have the pop tab border and then put in some material or plastic or something? You guys give us some suggestions. Um, but we're going to keep at it and uh, keep cutting and uh, putting pop tabs together and it's great fun. We'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, we're back. So I figured I got 56 pop tabs here to cut. So I uh, thought me and Haley would just chat it up with you guys you know why not so how's your day going so um I'm sure you guys are probably noticing something about me and Haley we're wearing something that match now they're gonna know and uh yeah Ugh. my lovely mother went and got us some shirts made for my youtube channel isn't she a sweetheart? If you don't know this, I will show you. There's a J V S for James Bride Show. And since we're Canadian, there's a red maple leaf. And then we want to get some hats. Yeah, I'm gonna get some hats made. Actually, I'm gonna get some socks made too, because this place they can do uh, where we got the shirts made, they do a whole whack of stuff. Actually, sh sh uh, here's another super shout out. Now these guys, they're not YouTubers, but uh, I'm going to give them a super shout out anyway because uh, they made these fascinating shirts for us. So uh, 
Super shout out to uh, Stained Apparel here in Forest, Ontario. You guys are absolutely awesome. These shirts are incredible. As you've seen, Haley here was super excited to get the shirt. And uh, if you ask my mom, she'll tell you that uh, I was pretty excited when she showed me my shirt. You'll see these shirts a lot. Probably in every video. Like every. Every. Every Jay's Variety Show video. Even if it doesn't fit me and it's like up to here on me. Well, when you get older and need a bigger shirt, we'll get you a bigger shirt. Duh. Or I'll steal yours. <laughs> no. Okay. No. Plus, you're probably never going to grow out of that shirt. Probably not. Because you're done growing. Probably. Probably. But I'm not done growing. Probably. Holy, this is a rusty one. You're gonna use it though. Yum. I'm just kidding. Yum. You're No, 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 So, uh, I'm thinking next time Haley's here on the weekend, we'll probably do a whole video that's devoted to just this. We probably won't mash up. Well, depending on how many super shout outs I gotta give out in two weeks. We'll see what happens. If we have to do another super shout out, pop tab, purse, craft mashup, we'll, we will. I mean, if we have to, right? If we have to, we will. But yeah, so when you're doing this craft here, I do, I definitely recommend, like, plan out what you want to make, right? And, uh, like, whoa! Maybe, like I did, do one half, or one half, one side, one half of one side of what you're going to build and figure out how many pop tabs you're going to need. And then cut that out so you, like, cut them as I'm doing here. It just, now I have the pop tabs all cut and I can put them all together. And then we can figure out how to attach the two sides. Which, uh... We need your suggestions. Like I said, can we... What do you want us to do? Would you like us to make the entire purse out of all pop tabs? Or put some material in between the pop tabs so that it's just a pop tab border? What do you think, guys? I think the plastic is a very good idea. I kind of like that idea, too, right? It could be like a see-through handbag. It'd be have... Uh, it'd be have... It would have... Uh, a border of the pop tabs, right? As I showed you with the rectangle, and you know, and since it's DIY, right? You could uh, take a sandwich bag, right, and cut the sandwich bag down the sides, and then when you open it up, and you see the seam, cut it, right? You could get the big freezer bags, even yeah. cut it at the seam, and you could use each side of the plastic freezer bag for each side of the purse. Just you know how you cut the pop tabs, right? Cut it like that, and then poke it into the poke it through the plastic bag and then put the pop tab back together and that's how you could attach it. So maybe we'll do that. Maybe I'll find some big, uh, some big, uh, big, big freezer bags that we could use. Do you know those bags where you put recycling in? Yeah, it's too big though. Oh. So Haley, how's school going? Uh, good. Yeah? You excited? You're in grade four, right? Yeah. Excited for grade five? No. Why not? Yeah. Well, well, when I'm you get to grade to five, teacher. you're three years closer to grade nine. Huh? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and after grade eight is grade nine. Oh, I just cut. 56 pop tab and now I've got to attach them all well you have one two three four five left four left oh my goodness that's so amazing at least they're all popping in one chomp like they should be which really helps there's some that we had to throw out actually a lot that we had to throw out Jay's Variety Show. Oh. 
one more left. So I asked Haley on a scale one to one to one hundred how weird I was. She said seventy three. I don't think that was enough. What the heck? I don't think that was weird enough. That's way too much. I don't think that was weird enough. In the ninety. There's probably only like thirty more. Thirty more numbers until a hundred. Eighty-seven. Yeah. I think. <laughs> I think. Why are you gonna be so mean? Why are you gonna be so mean? Can you just be nice to Can your you dad? Can you just be nice? Only three mix. Three mix. Da 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 da. My daughter. That's my daughter. What time is it? I don't know what time it is. <laughs> I don't know what time it is. No. I don't know. 4.33. Okay. Well, variety viewers, we've done quite a bit here today. And uh, I'm getting pretty hungry, and I'm going to make some barbecue chicken tonight for dinner. Wow. So uh, I think we'll continue this in next time that Haley is here. Who knows, maybe uh, I'll sit here and try and figure out what we're going to do by myself. And the next time she comes, I'll have a whole bunch done to uh, show her. But this is what I got started on the other side here. So, uh, again... Super shout out to Mr. Christopher Nelson. Keep up the great work, man. Um, I'll keep watching your videos because I enjoy your content. And uh, variety of viewers, be sure to go check them out. Awesome content. And uh, if you'd like to earn yourself a super shout out and you're a YouTuber, all you have to do is subscribe to Jay's Variety Show. It's simple. Like this. I don't think Daddy cares if he gets a like. Um, I don't think he cares if he gets thumbs up or thumbs down and yeah I do care kind of yeah, about kinda, that I, I kind of I think what she's trying to say is like comment share and subscribe yeah that's what she's trying to say yeah and definitely try this yeah um, yeah you can definitely try this at home if you're a kid make sure you got a parent with you as you have to use pliers and cut um, aluminum pop tabs and whatnot so uh, we'll catch you guys in two weeks, and we'll keep going on our little project here. So yeah, like, comment, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and uh, we'll see you next time. Stay tuned for more Jay's Variety Show.